uh, connect with the uh, commercial commercial brokers or realtors that are mm -hmm, yes. are familiar familiar yeah, with yeah. the mm -hmm. deal. You exactly. know, I sell commercial real estate. Mm -hmm. Richard helps me with that, so we can mm -hmm. do that too. We do one to four. I mean, single family up to four unit, and then if you want to go up. Uh, commercial business so we do all kinds oh, of yeah. deals mm -hmm. uh, as long as uh, we can work together okay <laughs> we like Just each other win-win mm -hmm. situation fair deal yeah mm -hmm. you have to be very sophisticated and lucrative buyer when you're dealing with commercial it's a whole different story different cap and a mm -hmm. different uh, way of uh, dealing as well as it's all different disclosures as well and exactly the, it can involve a phase one, phase two environmental. They can be very, very expensive. Exactly. So mm -hmm. now, residential wise, the government thinks that the residential buyers need more protection. So therefore, there are laws in place. So the seller, when selling a property, would need to disclose everything that they know the property that's wrong with the property, uh, and the buyer needs to okay that. Um, and the seller, for example, says that this patio enclosure was done with permits, but it was not, and the buyers finds out later, they do have recourse against the seller uh, for not disclosing that properly. However, in the commercial space, buyer beware. That's yeah. what it is, buyer yeah. beware. That's why it's very important that you gotta do your due diligence um, carefully uh, in the commercial space because seller really doesn't have to disclose anything except for maybe a natural has his own disclosure, that's about it. Other yeah. than that, what Zona said mentioned before, yeah. phase one, phase two. And not only that, you, you know, mm -hmm. you could also have crazy appraisers too, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, and at times I have to dig into the actual history of the property and really go to the city to find out and do my own uh, research for my investors. So, exactly. so mm -hmm. you have to hire an agent that you can trust and you know that she is a go-getter and really works hard and know what she's doing. Mm -hmm. It's sure. very, very important. She knows so, what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not, we're, not, we're not financial planners and we're not real estate attorneys. So yeah, in that uh, scenario, you know, we, we can refer you to them if mm -hmm. you have a need for that. And we also recommend that you do consult with your real estate attorney if you really need to, especially if you're buying multi-million exactly. properties. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, financial planning sometimes we would give advice here mm -hmm. regarding how to make some money moves and what's going on with the money moves in real estate but of course uh, internet uh, videos are meant to be entertainment you okay. know it's a more like an education that's a disclaimer now okay. yeah <laughs> more like an educational thing we're doing here that's right but uh, we love to do this and we're going to be doing this at least twice a month for you and maybe we will also invite other friends to discuss sure. with us and that's uh, good that's a good idea what, Very what good idea. could help yeah. us you mm -hmm. know um uh keep uploading uh, videos here on my channel <laughs> mm, that's right make it grow right <laughs> yeah make it grow a bit here and have a little community so now we're gonna go to a restaurant here in the area i heard they are very very popular it's an asian fusion restaurant and they mostly sell it's korean owned because richard is korean <laughs> so we're gonna but try Zona that picked it, right? <laughs> i picked it and uh yeah we're mm. gonna go there and hope you will join us and thank you so much for watching i hope this short little video that we have have uh, opened some ideas for you you know in our own simple way uh we're a little bit you know just getting warm up doing this video it's not so easy but uh, we're trying our best i we hope that you support us and you continue watching and that leave a comment good. below if you have any topics that maybe you want us to discuss and you have questions, uh, write the comment below and then uh, we will do it for you. That sounds good. Yeah. Thank you and Thank have you. a nice day. We'll see mm -hmm. you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. See you in the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. Don't pop like trouble breaking into your heart like that Ooh. cool shade stunner yeah owe it all to my mother uh, high like summer yeah i'm making you sweat like that break it down Ooh, when i look in the mirror i'm not too hard to do i got the superstar glow so
chard. Is the uh, fish cake soup? Fish cake soup. Mm -hmm. So we start with the big bowl of soup. Yeah. And hi, Mr. Han. Hello, Zuma. We are in the Asian yeah. Fusion <laughs> restaurant right now. We're gonna eat a lot today. Interesting, exciting. I like this one. What is this? This is the seaweed, uh, fried seaweed. Bowl. Fried seaweed. Oh garlic, my god, boneless garlic, garlic boneless fried chicken. Wow. Koreans make the best fried chicken in the world. It's good. They have a lot of variety. Yeah. <laughs> and this one is the spicy rice cake. rice cake. Yeah, it's very popular for Koreans. One of the most popular dishes. Korean in, in Korea. Korea. Wow. Classic dish. Classic dish. Very street classic food. dish. Street food. So street food, yeah. even better. Yeah, just so classic. you put it here for it's me. Might be heavy, might be heavy. I know Mangchi made this. Yeah. And I remember yeah. watching. Wow. And it has some egg there too. So this is like something your grandma would cook for yeah. you. Mm -hmm. wow. For something quick snack. Not yeah, a, Richard not a, Richard remembering his Korean roots. Oh, right.